okay guys um, we are going to create a lookup table uh, look at the, as you can see below we have a set of values ranging from 0 to 0 to uh, 180 and the angles are given in degrees and for every angle the square root sine cosine and tan are estimated and calculated using a concept of variables so uh, let's see how we can do that okay uh, first of all we create the structure the structure where all these values go into so first of all we create a table using a ddl statement known as create table lookup uh, first of all i have to drop the previous one okay see i have dropped it and uh, first of all i'll be creating a structure for the uh, lookup values to go into as you can see they, they contain angle in degrees root square root sine cosine and tan all of these columns which we want to derive and as we execute it um, the command is completed successfully and to see whether the tables are empty let's select star from lookup and as we can look up the all the values are empty so we have to fill in the values depending upon the angles so we can do that with the help of variables first of all we have to define a set of variables uh, first of all the variable x will contain the angle in degrees then max at the max will contain the maximum range up till which the values will be calculated then at the x, uh, x radians will contain the radians as we want the radians value to be in decimals so we have specified the float data type then we'll declare the functions for which uh, the, the variables for which we want the function values to go into like cos, sine, tan, and square root etc. Then we will set the minimum and the maximum values. Uh, we have minimum value is 0 and 180. We can also change that 180, 360 or whatever we want to do. Then after that we will be using a while loop. Now this, uh, the main concern for declaring these variables is that we will be using those variables within the scope of this while loop so it's basically simple you can um, simplify it further by using functions to procedures to this etc but this will be the most basic use of variables so as we can see we have declared a set of variables x will be containing the uh, angles in degrees then we will be converting those those angles with the each increment set um, to the radians value using this set and then after that the, we set the functions these function variables like sine equal to sine these are radian sine cos tan square root are all predefined function mathematical function that calculate values uh, and based on what value is given to them after that uh, let's find the square root events sqrt and the is also a mathematical function then we will be using these after the values are set into these variables these variables will be used in the insert into table values list uh, one by one in the order in which the create table was created as per syntax then we will set uh, after a set of zeros for the zero for the value zero is created after that we will set for, to, for how many difference after how many how much increment the other next value should be calculated you can specify it one two three uh, you have specified five so that the query executes faster so and uh, then x plus five then n okay now let's execute it now when we do execute it we can see that they print the value in the angles in degrees and then they print uh, the insertion notification like for zero uh, row set it was done and for for and foremost it goes on till 180 the maximum rate which it was specified so the values have been inserted now let's check up our lookup table to see what values have been inserted now when you see our lookup table you can see the values have been inserted in the lookup table with 
zero starting with zero which was the minimum parameter that we specified going on to 180 and incrementing with a difference of five incrementing with five so all all these values are true uh, and this is how you create a lookup table pretty basically using variables thank you for watching this